Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest to Giant Dwarf. Now, because there is a two minute cutscene at the start of this quest, I'm gonna do my intro over it. So, right, where to start this quest is here, just east of Releka. Let's enter this dungeon sign, enter the tunnel, and then go further east and enter the second one. Here, you should find two dwarfs. Let's talk to the dwarven boatman and select option one twice. Now there will be a 2 minute and 10 seconds cutscene, so be right back. There are no quest requirements, and the stat requirements are 12 crafting, 14 thieving, 16 fire making, and 33 magic. For the items needed are 200 coins, I brought a bit too much, any kind of locks, coal, an iron bar, a tinder box, a law and an air rune, which is needed for the telekinetic grab spell, so also be sure to be on the regular spellbook. And if you have yet to complete the knight's sword quest, free to play quest, then you also need to bring along a red berry pie. And then lastly, are about 10 bars of at least two kinds would be suggested. You could also just do it with one kind or with four kinds, but I think two would be enough. And then also you will need to have some various amount of ores in your bank or you will need to bring along some coins to buy them in Blast Furnace. There's a lot of items needed for the recommended items, nothing really, just weight reducing armor and two standard potions should be enough. And for the teleports, simply one too much skipper point. The fastest way would be to use the fairy ring and use the code AIQ, but since I don't have that, then you could also use a Feldor teleport, pest control, or teleport to your POH if it is located in Remington. All right, once the cutscene is over, let's uh, continue the conversation with the commander and select option two. All right, let's exit this building and run northeast. Keep going east, northeast, until you see a bridge, cross it. And across the bridge, you should see a kebab shop. There it is, just east of the boat, east of the water sign, you should find a kebab shop. Go to the building just south of it. They should find two NPCs inside. Enter that building and talk to the sculptor, Blysider. And select option 2. Next, we will need to gather three items. First, let's go a bit west and enter the big building and go a bit southwest there to the closing sign. There, we should find the dwarf Vermundi. Talk to her and select option two. Afterwards, let's exit this big building and go north Back to the boat, back to the kebab shop, and back across the river. The first building after you've crossed the bridge is the library. Enter it and talk to the librarian. Select option 2. 
and after speaking to him, be sure to check how much you weigh. If you weigh more than 30, then you need to go to the bank or drop some stuff. And afterwards, climb any bookcase in his library to find the book that you need. Once you have this, let's return to Vermundi. here at Vermundi, so let's talk to her once again, select option 2. While we're speaking to her, next to her there is a spinning machine. First, we will need to use some logs on it, or coal, doesn't matter, you use both of them at the same time. Once they're gone, use your tinderbox on it. If you fail miserably and you can read that in your chat box, just use your cinder box once again and keep doing this until you start the engine. Next, talk to Vermundi and select option 2 and then 1. Alright, continue the conversation and you will have exquisite clothes. Next, climb up the stairs just next to Vermundi and run west to the other side to cross the river that way. Just go to the southwestern corner and climb down that staircase. Next, exit the big building. and go southwest of the pub. They should find a small anvil sign and a shield and a armor shop. Talk to Saro and select option two. Next, go to the bank and north of the bank, they should find a building. Two NPCs and two red dots. First we need to talk to the walking NPC, Drummond. And he will not give you any of the boots. Now first we will need to wait for him to pass the left boot. And when he is not looking, take the left boot. And then exit the house and go north. Go north and stand just north, one tile north of the right boot, in front of the window, and use telekinetic grab to quickly grab the right boot. Also be sure that Drummond is not looking at you when you do it. Next, go a bit west to the weapon shop and talk to Sentry. Select option 2 three times. And he should give you the axe. Once he has given you it, use one of the three sapphires on it. And now we'll need to make our way to Mudskipper Point. Since I don't have the power, since I don't know how to use fairy rings right now and use the code AIQ, I will just use a pest control teleport or a Remington house teleport or a Falador teleport. Alright, once you have made your way to Mudskipper Point, let's go to Thurgo, talk to him and select option 2, 2 and 1. If you have completed the quest, 
the knight's sword. If you haven't, then first you need to give him some red berry pie, and then afterwards select 2, 2, 1. Alright, 2, 2, and then 1 to return back to Galdergrim. In this building, you'll be back at the sculptor. Let's first talk to Rikti, the model. You'll give him the three items. And afterwards, we will need to talk to Blazidar, the sculptor. And it is about halfway through this quest, since we have now made half of the statue. Now we just need the head. So, to make the head, let's go outside and let's go back into the big building and go to the second floor. On the second floor, we will need to talk to any secretary. If you're an Iron Man and you want to buy the ores at the Blast Furnace, then the best group you should join is Green in the northeastern corner, the Green Standstone. This is right next to the stairs and pretty close to Blast Furnace. But if you have access or you already have all of these ores, in your bank then I would suggest you to use the blue opal which is pretty close to the stairs. If you have a female character then you can use the yellow fortune but I have a male character. So just go to any random secretary and select option 3. Do you have any tasks for me? Now you just need to read and he will ask me to get some kind of ore. Now if you do not have that ore in your bank then you just need to click away, go away and talk to him and ask for another one. Never select the option to refuse. You always need to kill the conversation by walking away if you want to disagree. So five call in 15 minutes. I have five call in my bank anyway, so I will just say yes. We will now need to do between three and five tasks for the secretary before we'll be able to continue with this quest. So we don't need anything anymore besides ores. Alright, secretary, here's the first load. Select up in three once again. What do you want? Silver, I have not brought that along, so let's ask something else. By pressing on the floor. Four silver again, hell no. Give me something better. Shit, I didn't read. Uh, five copper, I have brought that along. Yes, I'll take it. And then for the third time, five silver again, hell no. Stop asking for silver. Four copper, that's in the bank, ask something that I have. Four copper again, come on man, I don't want to run to the bank. Four, yeah, sure, tin, that's good. Here it is, that's number three, do we have any more shit? Speed to the director. Alright, once you have... Alright, once the secretary has run out of tasks, talk to the director, then select option three, and he will ask you for some bars. And then select yes, if you have those in your bank. Let's first grab those.
All right. Once we've returned to the director, give him the task. And he has already asked me if I wanted to join. So let's select option two. This could take between one and three tasks of giving the director some bars. And then after you've joined this company, select option three about the sculptor and then one twice. Once you've gotten this message, let's return downstairs to the bank. And now we've basically completed the quest. First, I'm quickly gonna deposit everything and then just west of the bank, you will find the quest start of this quest. Let's return to the commander. Talk to him. Yes, I'm ready. Select option one. But this cutscene takes 3 minutes and 15 seconds. If you want to watch it, it is a okay one. Or if you really don't care, or you've already completed this quest, select option two. And then select option two once again. And this will be the quest completed. Congratulations, you've completed the giant dwarf quest. You are awarded with two quest points, 2500 mining, smithing and crafting experience, as well as 1500 magic, thieving and fire making, as well as completed a quest requirement for another slice of ham, as well as a forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. This was my quick guide how to complete the giant dwarf quest. Hopefully it has helped. You don't need these meeting notes. Subscribe, rate and comment. Yeah, thanks, bye.